Hi, Paramananda Ashok Pawar, working as an assistant professor in electrical engineering department, NB Nagule, Singhagad College of Engineering, Solapur. I have completed my MTech in power system. Currently, I am having the total teaching experience of eight years. Today, we are dealing with very important topic of synchronous generator, that is the winding factors of synchronous generator. The other name of synchronous generator is alternator. Alternator is a device which will generate the AC JMF. There are different two parts of alternator. First one is called as stator which carries the armature winding and second one is called as rotor which will carry the field winding. So these winding factors are basically in concern with the armature winding of alternator. So let's will start the Winding factor of alternator. The armature winding of an alternator is distributed over the, the entire armature. So it will produce nearly sinusoidal output waveform. But sometimes this sinusoidal waveform is distributed because due to the presence of short pitch coil. So for understanding of that particular thing, we should know the fundamental principle of what do you mean by short pitch coil and what do you mean by full pitch coil. So for understanding of full pitch coil, if the two coil sides of a pole are corresponding the adjustant pole, this is called as full pitch coil. So as shown in figure, these are the two coil sides that is coil side number first second one is coil side number second so this is the two poles that is pole number n pole number s so this is the two adjacent poles if these two coils are corresponds to that adjacent pole then this is called as full pitch coil so this is the concept of full pitch coil so let's will start the next concept that is called as short pitch coil so what do we mean by short pitch coil if these two adjacent coil sides are not corresponds to these two adjacent poles, then this is called as short pitch coil. So the total angle is 180 minus alpha, where the alpha is called as the short pitch angle. So this same concept is understand with the help of the phase representation and that Phasor representation is that where the coil side AC1 and AC2 both are in phase. So this coil, this type of coil is called as the full pitch coil. In concern with short pitch coil, these coil sides are shortened by the angle that is called as alpha and alpha is called as the short pitch angle. So this is phasor AC1 and this is phasor AC2 which is shortened by the angle alpha and that angle is called as the short pitch angle and for understanding of winding factors we should know there are different two types of winding factors first one is called as the pitch factor and second one is called as a distribution factor but before we going to start pitch factor and distribution factor we should know what do you mean by pole pitch so the pole pitch is the distance between two sides of coil is called as pole pitch. Let us consider one example. If the number of slots is 18 and number of pole is 2, then the pole pitch is equal to slots per pole. Then the value of pole pitch is equal to 9. So this is called as the pole pitch. So let us start the two different factors of the Winding, this is first one is called as pitch factor. The another name of pitch factor is also called as quad factor. And the second type of winding factor is called as distribution factor. The another name of that particular distribution factor is called as the breadth factor. The name itself indicates pitch factor is denoted by the Kp and where Kp is equal to the ratio of voltage induced in a short pitch coil to the voltage induced in a full pitch coil and this ratio is always less than 1. 
so as we know that the alpha is called as the short pitch angle so, so this is again shown by another figure that is this is the coil side number first this is coil side number second and which is shortened by angle alpha and this angle is called as the short pitch angle so we know that the width of the coil for the pitch is equal to pi or 180 degree and for short pitch coil that is pi minus alpha and the voltage induced in a short pitch coil is given by this figure so this will be the total sinusoidal waveform but due to the short pitch coil that short pitch angle is divided into two so that is from alpha by two to the pi minus alpha by two and the output of that particular pitch factor is a purely sinusoidal so that's why this is vm sin theta by two so let's will derive the expression for the pitch factor so for understanding of pitch factor we know what do you mean by pitch factor it is the ratio of short pitch coil voltage to the voltage of full pitch coil so let's will derive the first part that is VAVSP what do you mean by VSP VAVSP that is voltage means the average voltage for the short pitch coil and the total angle is pi so that is VAVSP into pi is equal to integration of alpha by 2 to the pi minus alpha by 2 V t d theta so in next step this pi is move from that is left side to right side so it is 1 by pi into integration of alpha by 2 into pi minus alpha by 2 vm sin d theta so this vm is taking an outside then vm by pi the integration of alpha by 2 that is pi minus alpha by 2 sin theta d theta so we know the integration of sin theta is minus cos theta so the term that is minus term is taking means outside that is minus vm by pi into cos theta that is alpha by 2 to the upper limit that is pi minus alpha by 2 so substituting these values of angle into that particular integration will get the value of vm by pi into cos into pi minus alpha by 2 minus cos alpha by 2 bracket complete so we know the fundamental formula that is cos 90 minus theta is equal to minus cos theta so that term that is minus vm by pi into that is minus cos theta into so the value of theta is pi by 2 uh, sorry alpha by 2 sin, then minus cos alpha by 2 minus cos alpha by pi 2 that is 1 minus 1 minus 1 will get value of 2 so this is value minus minus glass plus then 2 vm by pi into cos alpha by 2 so this is the required expression of voltage induced in a short pitch coil now we want to derive the voltage in a full pitch coil so this is the another waveform that is the average voltage full pitch coil so it will be shown by the sinusoidal that is vm sin theta to the angle pi so we will take the integration that is vav into full pitch coil is equal to 1 by pi into lower limit that is 0 to pi vm sin theta d theta and again that vm term is taking me outside that is vm by pi into cos theta that is lower limit is 0 upper limit is 5 so substituting the value of that particular limit so that is the value vm by pi into cos pi minus cos theta so we know the value of cos pi is minus 1 cos 0 is minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 so the outside term minus minus get cancelled then vav full pitch coil is equal to 2 vm by pi so this is the expression of vavsp as well as vjv full pitch now we know the fundamental formula that is kp is equal to ratio of voltage for short pitch and voltage for full pitch so substituting the values of short pitch coil and full pitch coil will get the value of kp so that is 2 vm by pi into cos alpha by 2 divided by 2 vm by pi so 2 vm by pi 2 vm by pi, pi get cancelled and will get the value of kp and the value of kp is equal to cos alpha by 2 where alpha is equal to short pitch angle so this is the first factor that is called as pitch factor so let's will start the second factor and that factor is called as kd for understanding of kd 
we should understand the concept of concentrated winding as well as distributed winding so manja winding with only one slot per pool per phase is called as concentrated winding so in this type of winding the emf generated per phase equal to the arithmetic sum of individual coil the emf jo on the other hand in distributed winding coils are kept in adjacent slot on account of this the voltage induced in each coil differ from by the slot angle that is beta therefore in this winding the phase voltage is vector sum of the individual coil voltage so distribution factor is the defined as the the distribution factor is defined as the ratio of vector sum of coil voltage to the arithmetic sum of coil voltage so the kd is equal to gmf with distributed winding divided by gmf with concentrated winding so note that the numerator is less than denominator hence the value of kd is always less than 1 so let's will start the expression of kd m is the distribution factor so for understanding of kd let n is equal to slot per pole beta is equal to slot angle so beta is equal to 180 degree electrical divided by slot per pole and next line m is equal to slot per pole per phase the distribution factor can be determined by constructing a phase for the three coils emf so this is shown by three coils emf first one is a phaser that is phaser jb this is phaser bc and this is cd so the angle between that is beta where beta is called as a slot angle so it is very very important concept for understanding of the expression of kd the three coils emfs are shown in a figure for understanding we are taking one reference point that is point o subtended at the angle of beta because beta is a slot angle the phasor sum of coil emfs sustains the angle mb that is m beta at 0 so draw perpendicular bisector of each chord such as ox oy etc as shown in figure so as shown in figure so it is very simple figure for understanding first of all draw this vector that is ab then draw vector bc then draw vector cd again join this vector so it will be form a it is b it is c it is d this is a reference point o this is reference point o and from o draw the perpendicular to the each phasor that is oa then ob then oc and perpendicular od so this is the required expression so the angle between that particular is mb now the 50% is the angle is mb by 2 now the 50% angle is beta then 50% angle is called as beta by 2 so this is a vector representation of kd that is distribution factor it is very very simple for understanding so let's will start from the vector what is the value of kd so the kd is equal to jd divided by m into ab so what do you mean by ad so ad is the total length of that particular vector that is ad is equal to so that total jd is equal to 2 into a into x so this is substitution of value of ad into that expression so the next that is m into ab because m means i already know that it is the angle of that particular thing into jb and the value of ab is similarly 2 into ay so therefore ax divided by m into ay will give you the value of the kd so what do you mean by jx that is sin m by 2 into o into a divided by m into the value of ay is jo a into sin beta by 2 so it will give you the expression of kd 
and the expression of KD is sin by 2 divided by M sin beta by 2. And expression is coming from that particular vector figure. It will be very very easy to understand. So, this is the different factors for the winding as that is KP pitch factor and second one is called as KD that is distribution factor and thank you, thank you very much.